Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Shri from Amber Lash Artistry. I'm not gonna talk too much to you guys today because I'll be talking enough through the video. I thought we can do a classic set together and me talk you through how to create fuller sets with classics, what you could be doing wrong that could be giving you bad retention. Just everything classic lashes. So let's get into it. Classic lash with me with 0.15's flat ellipse extensions. Okay, so first things first, we are going to pad down those bottom lashes. If you know me, you know that I, I freaking love, I'm a diehard microfoam tape fan. So I love microfoam tape because you could get as close to the waterline as possible without it irritating the client in any way, shape, or form. Okay, so now I want to demonstrate how you can create fuller sets with a classic set of lashes. Now, if you have a client who has a lot of lashes like this one, you can do the tape back method with a gel pad or any tape. Any tape back method actually really works really well um, for clients who have a lot of lashes. Now, I like to do my classic lashes, like if I'm doing a mega volume set, like I'm trying to get all of those layers. So that is how I create absolute full sets with my classic lash extensions. You want to get every single layer. So now I am just getting my adhesive and I've got my tray of lashes ready and now I'm going to start lashing. Um, I didn't necessarily have to use the gel pads for the tape back. I just kind of wanted to show you guys one way of achieving fuller classic classic sets. One thing I didn't get a chance to do was to tape the top lid and kind of lift it up so you can get closer to the lash line. But I would, with that placement I just placed, I would probably go a little bit lower because it can give you more retention. Um, like for example, this one, that one was a perfect placement. Okay, so this placement, we could probably we can definitely go closer to the lid um, because it's a little bit too high. This right here can cause not bad retention necessarily, but it's like it's already grown out. So we wanna get closer to the base. Now let's talk about the amount of adhesive. This is probably the amount that I put with my classic lashes. They teach you a certain amount, but I always use just a little bit more than that because in all honesty, when it comes to classic lashes, you do need a little bit more. If there's a doll up there still showing, I will swipe it off with my tweezers, but um, that's how I get good retention with my classic lashes is the amount of adhesive that I'm putting and getting closer. Now that is too much adhesive um, so that's something that you need to pay attention to, the amount of adhesive that you're putting. We don't want too much, but we don't want too little. So I know that's something that a lot of you have expressed to me that you struggle with was retention. So always make sure that you're putting your extensions close, um, to the lid. And here's another reason why you would have retention issues. You see how I swiped the extension along the natural lash and then I went and placed it? That can cause retention issues because it's kind of, for example, dirty lashes. Extensions don't stick to dirty lashes because there's a film um, blocking the... There's a film blocking from the extension straight to the natural lash there's something in between them so it's not going to stick so that because there's a film of glue um some of the times it won't stay most of the time um now there's a perfect placement right there we want it as close to the lid as possible now we're going to go into inner corners now 
inner corners are very important to me when it comes to classic lashing because we want to get them as full as possible so they stay looking as full as possible because for me in the past I've had issues with my inner corners always going first so I like to go lengthwise I like to go as close as possible to their natural lash length and I like to try to get almost a hundred percent of those inner corners lashed um, because when my clients were coming back to me they were coming back to me with absolutely nothing on their inner corners and it was like having to start all over again and inner corners aren't especially when you're first starting out they're not easy to get so this method with the microfoam tape has worked out really well for me I like using the microfoam tape other than other tapes um, to get those inner corners as full as possible now let's talk about length um, a lot of people ask me what sizes I typically pick out actually let's talk about this so you see how the little lash was poking out before I always grab the the longer lash and move it aside so I can get that smaller lash lashed first because it just makes lashing and isolating easier but back to lengths I like to go along with the client's natural lash and I always do one style when it comes to classic lashing um, it's just what I do I guess you can call it my signature um, set for classics but like I said, I go along with the client's natural lashes. So um, I always pick length according to each growth phase. So if you see um, the smaller, like this baby lash, I'm going to go with a smaller length. Um, I usually pick out about three to five different sizes, depending on the client and how many lashes. This lash was in my way and I felt it was too small to lash and put a classic lash on. So I put some mega volumes. Typically they're on fanned fans. Um, so they're like spikes. And I grab about like one to three. So I don't necessarily fan them. I just went and picked them up and placed them on that one. It looked fanned. So, um, so... That actually helps with isolation. You can move that baby lash out of the way and then lash the neighboring lashes around it and it's not getting in your way and you're not getting any stickies. But yeah, sometimes I'll even go shorter than the natural lash length to create a more depthier set. Um, it just gives you more fullness you can even do um, different curls to create different effects. So if you're using like a CC curl um, on the bottom layer, a D curl on the top layer, something like that, you can create more texture as well. There's so many different things that you can do with classic sets, to be honest, that... Um, a lot of people don't really do like they just think it's one to one but you can lash in layers with classic lashes and you can create texture with classic lashes um but my main thing when it comes to these sets is the type of extensions that i'm using i only use a flat ellipse extension 0.15s every single time. Um, the reason why is because I like the way it looks. It makes for the illusion that there is more. Um, opposed to using a regular classic lash, it gives me more lighter and textured sets, if that makes sense. Just the look is different. If you noticed in that last clip, I was pinching the base of that extension and I removed it because if you scroll back, um, it wasn't placed correctly. It wasn't base to base. 
that can also cause retention issues. So be mindful of placing base to base, okay? So fullness matters with classic lashing. I keep saying classic, I'm sorry. And placement matters, the amount of adhesive matters. This is about the amount that I put on. Um, lash and layers. Get as many lashes lashed with classics as much as possible. I tend, I try to get 99% of their natural lashes. Um, even those tiny baby ones, most of the time will get lashed just because it's in my way, but it gets lashed with the 0.03 so I can just maneuver it out of my way. Um, uh, cause we don't really want to lash those cause they're not even baby stage yet. They're like pre baby. So yeah, I also get asked a lot what curl I use for classic lashes. So most of the time when it comes to the inner corners, I'll do a CC curl, obviously smaller lengths, and then the rest of the set I'll do D curl. Uh, the outer corners, sometimes I'll do CC curl, but most of the time it's D curl. So CC curl or even C curl on the inner corners and the rest D curl. That's how I personally make my classic lashes full. And a lot of people think that it's volume lashes, but it's not. I am using a flat ellipse extension, 0.15, and I'm lashing almost every single lash. So that's how I create my fullness. Uh, I have really great retention with classic lashes. I have like three, re three week retention with my clients. So... That's how I achieve full, really full classic sets with my clients. Remember, this is too much adhesive. And then I went and got adhesive on the other extension. But I was trying to make as many mistakes or as many as I can think of while I was lashing with this set. So I can kind of go over with you guys all of the issues that I... Um, get from you guys that you guys are having when it comes to basic sets like these. So for majority of this video, I'm just going to kind of jump in and out and watch me lash, lash with me. So here it is. jumping in real quick I wanted to show you another way I move the extended lashes out of my way I call this my side swoop tape back I like to do this especially for the inner corners because you know 
especially when they have a lot of lashes, this really has helped me a lot. So what I usually do is that you can see I'm grabbing this extension that's already, this lash that's already extended and I'm tucking it in the tape so that I can get the next one. And then I go to the next eye and then I come back and then I do the next lash and do the same. I just repeat that process and continue tucking those lashes into the tape to get them out of my way so I can get as many inner corners as I possibly can. Okay, we're finally finished, and I personally like to use two different mascara wands, the silicone and the regular mascara ones. They brush differently. I don't know how to explain it. I'm going to have to like try to figure out my own ways to explain it, but they brush through different, and I like them, and then I end up sending them home with my clients at the end. Now I'm checking for stickies with my heart mirror, and all the products that I've used in this video, I'll link them down below. Look how full they came out. I love these. They're so pretty. I just love a classic set. Classics will always have a beautiful place in my heart. But after I've placed my last extension, a minute after I've placed my last extension, I'll put Super Bonder on the base of my extensions even with my makeup volume, this has boosted my retention by 30%, especially my classic lashes. I like to get the top and underneath the base of my extensions with my super blender. So brushing through and drying now with my handheld fan to get that super blender dry. This also helps with fumes so there is no burning after my client opens their eyes. I'm going to on tape. And I am finally finished. Sometimes I'll go and kind of do a complimentary fan at the end. But this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for lashing with me. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of your lash journey. I love you guys so much. Remember, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every time I upload a brand new video. Um, comment down below what videos you'd like to see next. And I'll see you next time. Bye.